Hello there, fellow humans. Today, we're checking a fully open world sandbox MMORPG called Raven Dawn, saying it's focusing on depth of gameplay and community. It kind of reminds me of like old school games like Tibia. So yeah, if you want to see more MMORPG content, give this video a like, tell me in the comments what you think about Raven Dawn, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's jump right into it. And here we are, uh, we're gonna be creating a new character. We get to select our archetype. I think we get to select three archetypes. So it's kind of similar to like Archage, where you get to pick three different archetypes to make your class. So that's kind of cool. I like that. So we got a archery, a witchcraft, a wizardry, a spiritual, a shadow, protection, holy, and warfare. I mean, the obvi it's kind of obvious what I'm going here, but we're gonna pick the archery for sure. So no character creation. Let's go. Okay, we got a basic tutorial here. Move with the WASD. Have to interact with things. Pretty basic. Oh, we gotta talk with our mom. This kind of reminds me of, like Pokemon. I think in Pokemon you spawn and you go have to go to your mom in the beginning. I really like the aesthetics of the game. It actually looks really cool. Definitely reminds me of like Tibia quite a bit. Maybe it's the angle that we're playing in. And we got a bow from uh, Parker. Open my inventory, and you can find all the items you're currently carrying. Right click the weapon, there we go. Now we can get to use it on the target. So with the tab you're taking targets in this game. Quite interesting. Press F, right click to interact with NPCs and world objects. We're gonna gather some strawberries. We have to go kill the beetles. They're killing our crops. Also, just right click the... Uh, can you move while shooting? Oh, you can. And we got a level up. Nice. Spend skill points by learning a new skill. So yeah, here we can actually uh, see the... Um, we can pick three archetypes. The one unlocks at level 7 and the other one is level 15. Let's learn this wind arrow. And it goes straight, right into the bar, which is great. Now we're gonna use the skill on it. Ooh, it's pretty good. There we go. We killed the uh, scarecrow. Click the compass icon to track the chosen quest. Oh, it shows you like area where the, the mobs are or whatever I'm looking for. Bandits. Bandit is this cute doggo. Oh, two remaining points between might, intellect, dexterity and wisdom. Okay, so what do these do? Increase attack speed, spell haste. I think might is pretty good. It gives you range attack power. But I also like dex, so... Can reset for free okay so let's go dex oh here we can change the color i like going like a black and red there we go search the house for things that could be useful for long journey ahead oh we got potions time to leave let's go we gotta gather some flowers bring the flowers to mom and dad if lost try using your compass why are they on the graveyard oh they died <laughs> what <laughs> i definitely missed the part where they died that's okay. Now we can learn another skill here. So we can wiper arrow or concussive shot. Go for that one. Find a way to the docks through the northern woods. This tutorial has been really, really nice. What is this? Gain 50% increase attack speed for 6 seconds. Decrease movement speed by 20. Oh, it's a weapon skill. It's like a buff with the bow. Bandits! Oh, we're killing them. Hey, we got them all. Nice. Oh, you can travel with the ship. This is cool. Shipwreck. What happened here? It's a Kraken. Oh, we gotta fight the Kraken. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that's unexpected. I didn't think we would fight the Kraken, but I like it. Okay. It's killed my ship. Great. The Raven Crest. And the map opens up. Why does this remind me of like a runescape a little bit? Oh, it's like a different uh, tutorial quest where we have to open these cards. Oh, you get to open card packs. Every pack comes with five, five Raven cards. You can mistake them as simple collectible tokens. So we can put these cards into the skills here. Oh, I kind of like the system. So now it buffs this skill. Okay, looks like the tutorial is done. Talk with the fisherman near the slums. Oh, this guy's attacking me. 
die, you little rats. I don't know if there's any point moving. I think they're still hitting you anyway. But I think I found the person. I'm a little bit shaken that I, I got killed by the Kraken. Oh, we have some kind of choice here. I think goblins would be good at that. Killing. I like killing. We have to kill 10 rats. Okay. Be easy to find 10 of them here. Ooh, the range is actually quite good in the um, in the attacks. Okay, we need one more. Go kill it inside the house. They bleed like anything else. I mean, that's pretty good. Give me my payment. Yeah, I think we gotta open all the card packs. I always like like uh, card mechanics. Hope we get some uh, archer ones. A spirit ranger is remaining cooldown by five seconds. He seemed quite powerful. I didn't get one for this one, sadly. So the quest continues. Pest control. Cabin basements. Kill at least one rat underground. Oh, here we go. The rats are instantly ganking me here. I don't want to take a trade from this guy. Oh, look, so friendly. Thanks. Imagine having some interaction with real players in an MMO. That's kind of mind-blowing. Okay, let's bring it back. Let's see what we get. Good deeds are always rewarded in this life or next. The goblins. What the goblins? Oh, we got level up from that. We got a bunch of rings from that too. Put them on. Now we're gonna talk with the leader. Ask the goblins to leave. Oh, you can close the door. I don't know what to do when you close the door. I think they're just gonna wait. A cheese feet. I actually quite like this combat. It's pretty. It feels pretty smooth. Even though I think I have a, quite a bit of ping here, but that's okay. Oh, we killed them all. Rat infestation. I'm always going for this, like the, the red one. The kill quest. There we go. Oh, there's a rat here. Bring the unpaid. Unpaid dues to cheese feet. I feel like archery was the right choice for me. Definitely. Have to see what we picked with the archery. I found nothing. Oh. I found a coin purse. Okay, so there's a skill tree for reputation too. We have a, that's where we pick the quest. We get to like choose these things. I have a lot of criminal points. A little bit of an order points. Basic attacks have... 1.5% chance to slow and target by 20%. Wow, that's an interesting system too. I like it. 350 points for the first level. Second archetype. Okay, let's pick the second archetype. Choose your archetype. So we have... Uh, is he gonna give me like some advice what I should pick? I feel like Shadow is kind of the obvious choice here. I like Witchcraft too. So, I think we're picking Shadow and Witchcraft. I don't know if that's good, but I think that's what we go for. Let's do a Shadow first. Remember, remaining skill points can be used any skill tree. Don't forget to spend them. But until level 20, we can freely reset our archetypes. So, this looks like it's a melee kind of build. I don't think we learn anything for now. I think we still go for this one. Ooh, that's like a snipe. Go for that one. Whoa, that was a huge damage. I need something to eat too. I'm glad to help less fortunate. There we go. Let's pick the uh, criminal quest. Use the trap to kill one boar around near the slums. Make sure not to damage their meat. We were looking for the boars. We gotta trap them. That's it. Damn it, you just aggro so many mobs in this game, like, all the time. I'm gonna keep killing them all. Back to a Bridga. It was a piece of cake with traps. Yep. Cooking the meat. Not right now, I'm helping old Bridga. A ran poor woman. We're gonna cook some steak. Mmm, I like some steak. Go oh, back. Really? Again? We always pick in this one. She made kebab.
Special seasoning and all, okay. I mean, who doesn't like kebab? Ah, here we go. Now we gotta go to the city. Talk with the priest in the temple. Okay, finally we get to the city. A Father Richard, yeah. <laughs> I thought the glittering light was unguarded gold. Is it the community farmland? This looks like uh, some kind of farmland here. Start managing your farmland. Click that house button next to the minimap. So here we have some crops. Already in the farming section. You just need to choose the item you want from the list. So we need the potato. It's free. Place it here. Oh, this is actually really nice. Oh, so we can do... We can grow some pigs also. Gotta gather the potatoes. There we go. Oh, you have to play this mini game to get it. We got two potatoes. Nice. And we have to butcher the pig too. Boom. We got some meat. Sell the trade back given by the farmer in a trade post near the shipyard. Okay, so we have to go do some trading now. So we got professions. So we got farming. You can see my farming level. So you definitely you have a uh, mining, woodcutting, farming, husbandry. Fishing, blacksmithing, carpentry, weaving, and cooking. Breeding. Oh, you can do breeding. That's That sounds like fun. Uh, pretty basic, like, um, professions. And then we also have selling a trade pack, so let's go sell it. I want to sell a trade pack. Oh, we just got money. Nice. Oh, it tells me to craft one now. Craft a trade pack with the potatoes. Ah, there we go. So we put hide, shank, and potato in this. The global demand is 180. I wonder, can people kill you and steal your trade back? Is that like a thing in this game? It's created. And now we have to take it to the temple. Oh, so here you can see what kind of trade packs are like worth a lot right now. And then it tells you where you have to take it. Oh, this is a really cool system. I like this one a lot. Okay, let's give it to father. Oh, what's the problem? Kill the bats in the wine cellar. Oh. Be so close to getting the first point here. 40 more points and we can uh, get our first talent in the criminal tree. Big damage. Gotta find one more bat. There we go. Got it. Alright, sounds easy enough. Go hill behind Jensen's house and fight the dwarven statue. Is everything aggro in this game? Like, I love that skill. It's so good. Whoa. That was a cool dash. Or ship the statue. Optional. Find Jensen's key somewhere near the statue. Return and speak with Jensen. Really? It's here? Oh my gosh. Wow. That's the bush. We got it. Nope, sorry. Didn't see any keys. Which tree we go for, actually? Let's check out. I mean, the order is pretty good, too. Nearby murderers are highlighted on the world map. I kind of like that. We actually got some card backs, so we can, we can open those. And a copper chain. We got four packs. Let's go. All of them are new. Nice. Hey, we got a... Orchery one. Venom grenade. Another one for Venom grenade. A spirit rangers. Spirit rangers. Okay. I got quite a few for, uh, for archery. That's great. For the venom attack, I got two different ones. This one increases the damage. This one increases the uh, spell damage. Go for that one. The next quest is talk with Master Urgarum down in the Undermash Mines. Oh, this mobs kind of remind me of something from uh, Maple Story. I like them. Got the wine pack for him, so that's gonna tell let me get in, right? Sounds great. I gather five copper ore from the notes inside the mine. Oh, you have to play the mini game to get it. We got a one copper. Pretty good. And here we go. We get the last one. Feel like I was born to be a miner. Explore the deep caves of Undermarsh Mines and slay five spiders. Yeah, it's, it's down from here. There is my spider. Hello, spider. Finally. One more. Come here, spider. found him excuse me sir are you drunk <laughs> back to urgan room we go nothing i couldn't handle 
I wonder if he's gonna give me a weapon. Oh, okay, we got the pick here. Just give me a material to craft it. Oh, this is pretty nice. You get to like, uh, they really teach you how to craft here. Oh, we have to click one here. Okay. Hey, we got the bow done. Great. Better what I have. It's a four attack bow. One I have right now is six attack, so it's not even better what I have. Infuse any piece of equipment. Okay, now it's, we're gonna get to the uh, the upgrading part of the game. When you infuse a weapon or armor, you will see a bar beneath the icon will get bigger. Okay, so we, we basically just leveling up the weapon. Oh, we just used all of them. Okay. We went from 6 attack, 8 attack. So now we don't actually have any quest anymore. Our thing is le reach level 15. There's a bandit break down here. A flower power. I think we gotta go do this a bandit breakdown quest. I help with the bandits. Finally something I'm good at. Yep. I'm good at murder. Tell Captain Crook in the Northwest Bandit Camp. There's also another thirsty bandits. There's some kind of event you have to do. It's like a... It's like a... Public event, I think. Be automatically level synced if you keep participating in the event. Yeah, because that guy is kind of OP. It's done. So the game has like a public events too. That you keep like triggering. I like that. That looks like a bandit camp. The question is how do we get in? Oh, there we go. There's a gate here. Oh, this is where we gotta go. I just want to see this. Wow. There's Grook. Nice. Found Grook finally. Level 10 boss. Pretty hard. Yeah, uh, they don't hit very hard, which is kind of nice. Got him! Find and obtain Krug's gold hook mask, located in a chest somewhere under the fort. And there's supposed to be a chest here. There's a chest there. That's way too easy if it's, if it's that chest. Yeah, that's what I thought. That would have been too easy. There's a couple chests there, but... Hey, we found it! Nice. I'm just gonna find Link. Here is the proof that I killed. Bring the hook mask cell key to Private Ryan. I think that's a good stopping point. I played Raven Dawn for about three hours. And I think I got a pretty general idea how the game is. It seems quite fun. Small indie MMORPG. Especially for people who enjoyed older games like Tibia or RuneScape in the past. I think the game does have a lot of potential. So if you're looking for MMORPG to play, and you are a fan of the older games, I think you should definitely give this a, a try. If you wanna see more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up, tell me in the comments, do you like all the MMOs? I hope you have a good day. Take care, bye.